guys, Amanda here. Uh, so, I wanted to give you two updates. One is a med update, and the other is, um, well, I'll get into that uh, after I start. Uh, I talk about this one first. So, um, med update. So, uh, most likely the psychiatrist that I've been seeing for over a year is going to be um, taking over the IOP part of um, the center that I go to, um, to see him. So he'll be taking, probably taking over the drug and alcohol rehab thing, whatever it is. Um, and this doctor that I have been seeing since he took over this other caseload for another doctor who's on maternity leave, um, I've seen him twice already. I see him again next week. And um, he might actually become my new psychiatrist, which is okay with me. I like him. He's he's okay. You know, he's not um, he's not mean or anything. And he uh, listens to me, so that's good. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, I talked to him about um, conversations I had had with my other psychiatrist about anti-anxiety medications and my anxiety surrounding my disorders and whatnot, and that I know that he doesn't really prescribe those medications, and I totally respect that because that's just how he is, and that's cool. He wants you to get the therapy more than re rely on medications um, because he doesn't want people to get addicted, and I completely understand where he's coming from. Um, but I also think... Um, I'm sorry, and I also told him, you know, how the anxiety that I I deal with and have dealt with since I was between the ages of four and six, I'd say, is when it really started to develop. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, because when I was four, I was thrown up against a bookcase, um, so that kind of started the whole chain of events. But anyway, I've suffered with panic attacks and extreme anxiety where I cannot function, I can't do anything, I can't go outside, I, I can't be around people, it's just too much, um, and then it accompanies like paranoia and stuff like that, um, you know, and how this has affected me throughout my life, um, uh, no, he is not, I don't see him. My mother was asking about uh, my cat dots. <laughs> anyway, um, what was I saying? Um, how it's affected me over my life, and um, that I was, I've been to partial. I go to counseling. I'm doing this DBT group. I go to a support group. You know, I've been to the hospital. <laughs> I've had issues. You know, with all kinds of things um, that really stemmed from this issue with anxiety. Um, and post um, and past traumatic events and how that affects me but how I don't think people actually believe or realize that I do suffer from anxiety because people will say well I have extreme anxiety or severe anxiety and usually people are surprised that I said that because they say, you have anxiety? I wouldn't have even guessed. You look so calm. <laughs> because I hide it. I hide it, you know. I, it's, I have the shield so you can't see it. So, um, <clears throat> But when it does come out, you can see little things like I'll fidget a lot or I'll stay completely still. <laughs> um, I won't really talk a lot. I'll just, you know, be like sitting there with this anxiety inside me, not knowing what to do with it or how to get rid of it, you know, um, I might start talking a lot, which I do quite often when I'm either anxious or excited, um, you know, just, just things like that, like not being able to get on the bus when I was a kid and, <clears throat> you know, just having severe anxiety going to the grocery store and stuff like that, so anyway, I talked to him about all this stuff and, um, 
you know, I told him, look, if you were to give me some, I do not want, like, to take it every day on some high dose, okay, or several times a day on whatever doses it is. I said, I just want some that are as needed that will get me through in times of dire stress and, you know, uh, a way that I can avoid getting to a crisis point, a panic attack, whatever. Um, and I said, look, if you're prescribing it, okay, you can only give me, you give me so many a month. If I go over that and I don't have enough left for the month, then that's my fault. And if I'm getting it somewhere else, like you can always drug test me if you think that I'm, you know, uh, abusing the medication and then you don't have to give it to me. And he was like, you know, that's a fair argument, you know. <clears throat> you know, so, and I told him that I've been on it before, and it did help, it's just people don't seem to think that I am anxious, <laughs> but I am, I truly am, um, so, I told him that in the past I had been on, was it, Ativan, Ativan, Lorazepam, I think Ativan and Lorazepam are the same thing, then there was another one. I can't remember the name of it. it might have been Valium. Diazepam, I think. I, anyway, um, I have been on two in the past, and they did work for me. So he gave me a prescription of 15.5 milligram tablets, and I can, I think he said I can get them refilled like every other month. I think. So, hey, that works for me. <laughs> and I only take them if I need them. You know, and I haven't taken any yet, and I got them last Tuesday. So it's almost been a week. So, you know, I'm definitely not abusing them. And, like I said, he can always drug test me if he thinks I am. <clears throat> so, there's that. I'm taking a new medication, and it is the Razepam, as needed. And the second thing I wanted to talk about, um, it's just real brief. I'm just going to just fill you in. So I was at my DBT appointment last week. And it was my third time going. And the past two times, I really got a uh, not a good feeling from the instructor. I just, I, when I first saw her, I just got this uh, don't trust her feeling. Um... <laughs> and I was right because uh, this last Thursday when I went, <laughs> um, she decided at the end of the meeting to diagnose me in front of two other people and talk about my diagnoses and stuff. So I looked that up because I uh, didn't really like that at all. And, um, uh, I found out that she violated my, um, my HIPAA rights under mental health, whatever, she's not allowed to disclose or whatever, any, uh, mental health information without me, uh, without having written notice from me. And I just certainly did not. Um, so I am going to rep report this doctor. Yes, I am. Because that is not right, and I am not taking that from any doctor. Um, so, yeah, I am going to file a complaint. Because um, you have 180 days from the incident to write it. You can, I guess you can fax it, write it, and send it in, or do an electronic thing online. <clears throat> so, that's what I'm going to do. So, yeah, and uh, in the meantime, you know, I'm not going to tell her about it. I'm going to keep going, <laughs> but um, I'm going to try to look for another group if I can. Otherwise, I'll, I'll finish it because I get information out of it, but I'm not going to give her any reason to, you know, get the best of me or anything because it's just not right. You can't disclose people's confidential information and then sit there and diagnose them 
in uh, a DBT group in front of other people. Like, what is that? Anyway, I want to take care of that. <laughs> all right, so I'm pretty sure that's all I have to say right now. Um, let's see. Oh, that was another thing. I forgot this on the medication piece. He also increased my amitriptyline to 50 milligrams at night because I've been having um, a lot of trouble sleeping. A lot of trouble. Um, and it's crazy. Like, I just, when you, like, I will be tired during the day. And then I'll wait and I'll wait and I'll wait. I'm like, okay, it's like 8 o'clock. I can go to bed. But then I'll start getting, like, energy. <laughs> and then I'm up. And I try to go to sleep, and even and I was taking 30 milligrams at the time, and it just I just wasn't. My mind was racing, and there was all this anxiety and all this stuff going on, all this stress, and I couldn't sleep. So he increased it. You know what? It's helping. I'm sleeping. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm happy about that. Alrighty. So okay, I think now that's it. <laughs> all right. So um, yeah. Um, well, thanks for listening to me, and uh, I hope everyone is doing well. And if you're not, you're always in my thoughts. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.